All right, hello everyone. So today we're gonna to be discussing what the heat equation is. Um, if you want a few more examples, there's lots of examples on that you can find on YouTube. Just type in heat equation example and you will find a lot of different types of examples. So let's start out with what all of these letters mean in this equation. So we have the letter Q. So Q equals M times C times this right here, that triangle. So that is delta, so delta T. So Q equals M times C times delta T. So what does all this mean? Well, first off, this letter Q, Letter Q stands for heat energy. And yes, I would like you to be taking notes of what all this stands for. Heat energy. And what are the units? So the units could be in calories. Calories or it could stand for joules. Joules slash slash kilojoules. And so if you might be wondering for, so if I wanted to convert joules to kilojoules, how would I do that? Well, for every one kilojoule, that equals 1,000 joules. Just like for every one kilogram, it equals 1,000 grams, okay? So that kilo just tacks on three zeros to the end of your one. Okay, so that's, that's what Q stands for, stands for heat energy, okay? And then we have M. M, our very common M, and that's gonna stand for mass. So that's gonna be the mass of our object. And that is measured in grams or kilograms. So just like I said in that example above, for every one kilogram, you have 1,000 grams. Okay, and then we have the letter C. The letter C that you will, that you can see right here. So I'm gonna highlight all of these a different color. so We can tell what is what. So the Q is gonna be our red. The M will be yellow. And our C, what does that stand for? It stands for our specific heat. Specific heat capacity. So in our equation here, that letter C is going to be a constant that you will find in a chart. And you'll notice that in some charts, there are different um, specific heat capacities, which is very common. So in R, the one that we're gonna be using is the one that's in your book on page 272, 272 right here, that chart at the top. And I also put that chart in your, in our PowerPoint. So you'll find it on page 272. So, specific heat capacity. And the units for that will be joules per grams degree Celsius or calories per grams degree Celsius. 
and you'll see that in your book at the top of page 272 for the specific heat capacity. You have both grams or calories per gram degree Celsius and you have joules per gram degree Celsius at the, at the top. So if we were solving for what is the specific heat um, or what is the heat energy for, let's say, gold, which is at the top of your list, and you were solving for it in calories, you would get it. So gold is right here at the top. And then we would solve for it in um, calories. So that would be in this first column. And that number would be 0 0.0301. Okay. Okay, and then we have delta T, and that is our change in temperature. So let me erase everything off that I have off my board here. Okay. So delta T, that is going to be, I'll make it blue. So delta T. So that right there, delta T stands for your, so when you put it into an equation, it'll be in parentheses, your final temperature minus your initial temperature, okay? For example, if you had um, a, a metal, we'll say gold, that initially was 20 degrees Celsius and it heated up, to 50 degrees Celsius, we would write it like this. So our final temperature was 50 degrees Celsius minus our initial temperature, which was 20 degrees Celsius. And once you solve for that, that would end up being 30 degrees Celsius as your delta T. And then you would multiply that 30 times your specific heat. So if we were doing that of gold in calories, that would be 0 0.0301. Or if we were solving for it in joules, that would be 0 0.126. I'm just reading that straight out of your book in, at the top of page 272 in that chart. And then if our mass was, let's say, 0 0.1, and then you would be able to solve for your Q. Okay, so let's try let's try out an example or two here. Okay, so using this equation here, so Q equals M times C times delta T. So our heat equals our mass times our specific heat capacity times our change in temp in temperature. So we're going to use that equation to determine how many calories are needed to raise the temperature of 10 grams of copper wire from a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. So go ahead and pause your video right now so you can try this example out on your own. Remember, for letter C, that is the value that you will find in your chart on page 272. So we are working with a copper wire, right? A copper wire, so that value is in your chart. And we are working with um, calories. So it wants to know calories. So make sure you pick the um, calories value rather than the joules value.
that's an important piece of information right there. We are working in calories. Okay, so pause the video, give this example a try. Okay, so if this is how you set up your equation, so Q equals 10 times 0 0.09 times um, 40 minus 30, then you set it up correctly. Now we need to make sure that we type this into our calculator correctly. So one, the first thing that you need to do is you need to solve for your 40 minus 30 first because that is within our parentheses. So 40 minus 30, that is going to be 10. And then we can write out the rest of our equation here. So Q equals 10 times 0 0.09 times 10. Now we can type that into our calculators. So 10 times 0 0.09 times 10. If this is how you typed it into your calculator, then you are doing it correctly. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare. Press enter, and you should get a heat value of nine. So I would write Q equals nine. And what is our units for this one? So we were solving for um, our heat in calories. So it would be nine calories. Okay. So if you're having trouble with this problem, um, watch the video again. There's lots of examples of this on the internet. You can um, watch on YouTube. Just look for heat examples. I will try and find some more and put them on my Google Classroom so you guys can view that. Um, yeah, so go ahead and keep going through your PowerPoint. And if you have questions, let me know. All right, miss you guys. Bye.